Facebook Tab Manager is a plugin for WordPress that allows you to create content and simple applications that will be displayed as tabs on your Facebook page. The advantage is it allows you to use the same editing and media uploading tools you would use for a blog entry or a page on your website. You can also take advantage of many WordPress plugins. For example, some designers have used Contact Form 7 in their own design to create a custom sweepstakes entry form. Now, I've used it as the same thing for volunteer sign up on political campaigns. A simple tab displaying a page of content looks like this. And here's how it looks in the WordPress editor for Facebook tabs. I'll show you how we can jazz this up in a moment. Facebook page tabs are created as a kind of Facebook app, meaning you plug them into Facebook using this tool to point to the web address for your content. You must provide an HTTPS version of the web address, which means your website must be set up with a dedicated IP address and an SSL certificate. Alternatively, you can subscribe to my tab hosting service at tabmgr.com, tabmanager.com. The URL parameters for you to use in the Facebook utility are provided at the bottom of the editor once you've saved your post. You also need to copy the ID assigned by Facebook and enter it here. Once you've done that, you'll see a link labeled Add to Page, both in the editor and on the screen listing your Facebook Tab Manager posts. Clicking that link takes you to this Facebook screen for associating your tab with a particular page. Let's back up and show what you can do with this plugin. Here I'm showing a couple of examples of pages that show a different message depending on whether or not the visitor has liked your page. This is the message that a new visitor to the page would get, urging them to click the like button. When I do click it, I now get a thank you message. This is a technique you can use to create a landing page where you entice people to get access to some super special content once they click the like button. It used to be that you could make one of these gated tabs or reveal tabs your default that people would see the first time they navigated to your page. Facebook no longer allows that, but you can still use this technique in combination with a viral link that you share, an advertisement, or an email that drives people to the URL for your tab. In this case, I've created two different Facebook Tab Manager posts, one to show the welcome message for newcomers and one to show the thank you message for page fans, by which I mean people who have clicked that like button. Later I'll show you how these alternate posts are linked together using what I call the Reveal Tab utility. There's also another technique for achieving the same effect using a single post in combination with WordPress shortcodes. We'll see much the same effect. I right, click the Like button and I get different content. The difference is that this content is generated from a single Facebook Tab Manager post, where WordPress shortcodes have been used to bracket the content that should only be shown to fans or only shown to non-fans. The shortcode technique is simpler in some ways, but it does mean that your content is mixed in with some funky coding. Short codes are surrounded with square brackets. You use FB like, like equals zero for
for content that should only be shown to newcomers, and F be like like equals 1 for content that would only be shown to page fans. And then we have closing tags at the both the end of uh, both blocks. For a simpler example of how to compose and edit in Facebook Tab Manager, let's look at our Declaration of Independence tab. Suppose we want to make this a little prettier. For starters, we might want to change those default Facebook fonts and font sizes. Also, the content is cut off at the bottom. Facebook uses HTML iframes to display this content, and by default the iframe is just 800 pixels tall. If we need more space, we need to tell Facebook Tab Manager to output a little resizing JavaScript code. The editor provides a number of tools to let us customize the appearance of content. I can add some custom CSS code to alter the fonts and the page background. I'll also check the checkbox for automatic resizing. In addition, the editor lets us activate or deactivate different WordPress features. This is important because the default WordPress behavior for your website operating within its normal theme isn't always going to be appropriate for the context of a Facebook tab. I may or may not want to include the regular header and footer actions. If I turn them on, I may also want to go into my advanced settings and selectively deactivate filters and options. When I save my work, I'll see that my changes are also reflected on Facebook. Now the fonts and background color have changed and the page is also sized correctly. It's also possible to create or adapt a WordPress theme for use with your tab content in place of the very bare bones theme supplied with a plugin. This example uses a standard WordPress theme from the WordPress repository that happens to fit within the dimensions of a Facebook tab. Let me circle back to the reveal tab technique I showed you earlier. This is based on creating two different posts, my welcome tab for newcomers and my thank you tab for people who have liked the page. The reveal tab utility lets us choose two alternate posts that will be displayed depending on whether the user has liked the page. It's actually easier if we start the process on Facebook. I'm going to start the process of registering a new app, even though I don't have all the information to enter on the form yet. I'll give it a name and solve this squiggly word challenge. And then copy the app ID so I can use it in the next step. Back in the Reveal tab utility, I will choose my alternate posts, check a few of the checkboxes including the resizing one, paste in the app ID, and submit this. I get back the parameters that I will need to enter into Facebook, which include the app ID as a query parameter on the URL. The resizing function won't work properly if I don't have that in there. I now enter my tab name and the URLs and save my work. I should also include an image here. I'm just going to use Mr. Jefferson again.
I can now add this to any of the Facebook pages I administer. And we'll see this has been added to the end of the list. Those are the basics. If you do something fun with it, let me know. I'd like to add some new examples to the showcase at tabmanager.com. That's T-A-B-M-G-R.com. Thank you. Thank you.